So uh, there's a couple of champions that I have bounced around uh, and I wanted to know if to you it really matters which one I should learn on. Uh, Amumu is great. I so here's how I view League. Basically, if you're a, a bruiser champ or tankier champ that can get to the victory screen and just duel everybody, basically just kind of face tank your way through everybody and win, that's those champions are much more preferred to me. Um, and you kind of hit on that already because you were saying, like, you know, I, I don't like squishy champs and I fucking don't because they're so easy to throw with. Nice. Yeah, tank it a bit, tank it a bit, tank it a bit, so the okay. tick tower. Yeah, you, look, you got all this health. I think you guys can end. Once you get your Q, don't waste any mana. Once you get your Q cure, there you go, CC lock this bitch. Hell yeah, this game. They don't want to clear minions? That's cool. All right, that I've got a nice. bunch of things. i got a bunch of things to go over. And I Let think get my pen. <laughs> I'm going to make the, the executive decision as a coach here to focus the rest of this now that we've had this game and I see where you're at. I'm going to use okay. the rest of this game to do a big VOD review. Is that cool? So yeah, I will. Uh, I, I wrote down some things that I wanted to go over, um, and I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna kind of skim and stop and go into details on things so that you can kind of like digest some of it better now that we have it in yes. post. So here's a, cool, a couple little things that I want to say. So you've only been playing for two months. This is great, dude. This is fine. Where you're at, like you may feel insecure when you're new and you're like the game's like you're in bronze. That means you're bad. But in reality, yeah. I don't really view it that way at all. I think that's that's bullshit. And I mean that. I'm not just saying it. Like I talk shit on right. streams. I'm like, these guys are bad, whatever. But like this game's fucking hard, man. It's like yeah, it's like getting it's like <laughs> it's like it's like uh getting into golf, right? Yeah. Imagine a guy like I'm literally walking around like a guy that could that could double in a tournament, right? Like yeah. of course I'm gonna destroy everybody who hasn't been playing golf. Right, it's the same fucking thing. This game is, is mental golf, bro. It's hard. Um, so you're really not like the, the fact that you're like moving your camera around and doing all this stuff for two months is actually amazing. Um, fun fact. I a lot of what Solfalara said to heart, and I've been trying to get better at it. No, no, it's good. Like your muscle memory is whack, right? Because you don't have it built yet. Yeah. It, it's it's like it's like playing platformers like Mario and shit in those hard levels. You're yeah. gonna fail. You're going to fail in the beginning over and over and over and over again. Your muscle memory will build. That's fine. It's the fact that this game actually has like fundamentals in the back end that a lot of people ignore. And that's when they just don't get anywhere with the game because they don't think the fundamentals matter. So like muscle memory is something that just happens, right? Depending right. on how crafty, clever you are, how you are with video games, you can just crank out games and you could be like me stuck in diamond for years right before it fucking clicked and i and i and i finally made it work but like i had a gaming background before all this too and right. this game was still hard for me like it wasn't just instant i had to work at it work at it and i i regret personally not having ever gotten a coach so some of the things that you're doing thinking about clears dude i didn't do that f until like f five years ago like moving the camera right. around by clearing i didn't do that i played for like 10 years bro no one, no one framed it up like this. My muscle memory was amazing for being a dumbass five years right. ago, but I didn't understand the rules of the game. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're already implementing things in the game that I didn't even do when I started out. So don't be hard on yourself, seriously, when you're new. You, you can be very confident, trust me. And we're gonna go over confidence in a minute with you. Um, but like, I, I'm I'm very happy with somebody's not playing, but for two months, like this is good. You're you're trying to move the camera. You're you're trying to implement things. It probably feels like a fucking blur right now when you're new. I totally get it. So let me let me first discuss the open. So instead of doing a full clear, full clear is very passive. Um, as you can see, you're finishing your five camp around this timer. Full clear might get you in trouble when you're new because you might be really late and then you come out here and Scuttle's already gone. We wouldn't want that, right? I kind of like these opens. I, I, I these are kind of like my bumper opens. I, I, I like these because they're reliable. I can play them in low elo and high elo. I can teach a low elo player to do it and they'll be on time for scuttle and they'll still have options. Okay. So mm -hmm. don't get in the full clear hype until you're certain that it's the best option. As a rule, I would recommend a five camp. Okay. I know Phalaris, I don't know if he would bite my head off for saying this or not, but I would I would agree to disagree with him on that. 
because I think I I think he, I honestly I don't think he would argue. I think he would be like, yeah, it's probably it's probably fine in most cases to just do a five camp because it doesn't really jeopardize a Mumu at all. Because you already you're gonna take these three levels anyways, right? Mm -hmm. And then you could just grab Scuttle as it spawns. But the other big thing is I want to build that muscle memory. So doing stuff like four camping and then maybe hitting a quick gank is going to get you confident, right? You're going to get used to like, okay, I'm going to hit this and then I'm going to go maybe gank top. Or I'm going to hit this and I'm going to go to mid real quick before scuttle spawns. Or I'm just going to camp and wait for the jungler to show up and duel him, right? I want you thinking proactively instead of just like, oh, I'll get there when I get there, right? Like, yeah. I want some sort of, I want a dynamic open. For the record, and that was my problem. Is I would stay in the, I would get into this trap of clear mm -hmm. back, clear back, clear back, and I would never appear in the lanes. And so I, I fall into this trap of, I, oops, I didn't gank for twelve minutes. Yeah. So basically, long story short, here's I want you contesting the scuttle. I don't want you to be in a position, and and if you choose to give up the scuttle, so let me give you another alternative. Say you five camp right, and you finish right. your gromp here. And we're going to say we finish at 308, right? Which is what happened this game. You finish at 308. You look out and you check your eyes after you finish. And by the way, this is standard. So you should be checking. I should be going to top, right? And I should be going to mid, right? Sorry about my crude drawings. <laughs> You're fine. So if you look out here and the enemies are moving already, right? Or there's like a really strong early game jungler, like a Zinzao or something. Well, now you can go, okay, cool. And you can just go to the bottom scuttle, you see? Yeah. And you'll still arrive on time. And then guess what you can do? You can go right to your golems, just like you full cleared. So when you gank here, you path behind, you hit the lucky Q. So your eyes, when you're fighting, eyes should be jumping to cooldowns to see the timer. Because I could have stunned her again. Q here, and I think you get her flash. She flashes. I wouldn't flash under, but I would try to get her flash. Yep. So, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit back space. So, yeah, you go there. Because in a lot of ways, a flash is a lot like a kill because it makes them Yes, it is. Vulnerable. And then you can gank him again, yeah. So, I saw Echo on bot side. So, I said, okay, we'll check this. And then I said gank Fi again. Now, let's talk about this. When you have a flank on somebody, remember... Yes. I'm gonna use their vision. Okay. She can't, she doesn't know where you are yet. Here's another little bonus trick. See how you moved? Yes. This is where you should have walked. Is it a vi guess vision? Yes, because you wouldn't have been visible, you wouldn't have been visible yet till here. Okay. She would not have been able to see you until here. So you would have been standing here now. That would have been a lot closer, yeah. Yes, it gives you... So let's talk about the actual execution. This is why I said I want to do the, the VOD review with you. So, like, yep. when you're in these situations, and I'm try, I am try to, I try to, like, keep your, your mind right in these spots. It's like, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. The idea is that you need to visualize as you're ganking, visualize the champion, and when you're new, this sucks. I know. Visualize the champion and think, okay, what the fuck does this champion do? Okay, so in this Minor case, do you know if I, her, you know okay. what yours does. What is this okay. champion? What is she going to do when she gets ganked? Uh, That's okay if you don't know. Do you know what, do you know what Vi's abilities are? The okay. only, the only thing that she has is that Q that sends her flying around. Well, if you, once you get better at this, as you're about to gank, so let's say right now, I told you we're about to gank. So yep. you're technically, your camera should be here and you just click and just kind of like do this shit. Okay, this is how your camera would be moving. What you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out if she uses any ability. So you watch, you know that her dash is an important ability. Well, okay. she didn't use it yet, right? We didn't see her use it. So that means, well, you're behind her, but she still has her dash. So if you were Vi, would you dash up, down, back or forward and it's okay if you don't know the answer i'll tell you there's, there's me, a kind of a multiple answer here. i would dash towards the bushes actually but so the answer probably probably the answer is not here and it's not here right these don't make it's any sense side. doesn't make any sense she might she might go this way 
she might go this way okay mm -hmm. so if you and this is truly and i'm not trying to brag or anything because again golf the golf analogy yep i'm running this in my head when i'm flanking all right this is how my brain works so when you see me playing like low elo stomps or whatever this is the type of stuff that now that you've had me in your ear tonight you mm -hmm. should start thinking about because I am doing this. I'm doing an advanced version because I've done it a billion times. But this right. is how you have to start. So you walk up. Now see what you do is you queue. But there's no point in queuing yet. Right? Because, because she wasn't far away from me yet. She she has nowhere to go yet. Okay. So you need to just auto her and E and then try to try to predict so that what you probably would have seen me do is if it were me i probably would have moved in a way to block an angle that i think is harder and this is why i said it gets kind of deep it's harder for you to cue this way if you get into this position right so when you come along the wall i would have moved like this and close her off because i know that if she goes this way I could still hit her. If she goes this way, you see what I'm saying? It can get complicated. And in the moment you hype yourself up and you stop thinking about, or me at you, least. I... No, everyone does, dude. Listen, I've been doing this for years. Fucking diamond players will make this mistake. I could put a diamond player in this situation. There would be very few players that would play exactly in my mind how I'd want it, which would be they stand here and then mm -hmm. auto her and like wiggle in here. Because again, I don't want to use my flash to chase her. So what I'll now, do is I'll... Did she queue or did she flash? She flash yes. queued. She, she was a mess. It was a mess. Okay. She should have charged her queue she up panicked. and just queued. Yes, yeah, she spazzed out and just flung the shit. But the point is, you can see, right? You're right now, you're, you're at newbie level. You're a newbie. It's fine. Mm -hmm. What I want is you to kind of build this situation. As you gank, eyes go out. Stay calm. What the fuck is he going to do? You won't know all the time, by the way. You'll be wrong. You'll be like, you'll try to gank a Katarina and she'll do some weird shit. You'll be like, what the fuck? right or right. leblanc you'd be like what the fuck i don't know what this is but the point is is that you try and trust me play. yeah and you know what you do this you'll start recognizing when they're doing something that's absolutely wrong so let me give you an example if you'd come out here and she cued into you then say like this is how you identify and punish stupid stuff so you're standing here she cues into you and then flashes well shit i'm just gonna cue and kill her right she has nothing she can't even right. get away now. She's just dead. I just, I'm going to smack her under tower. And then if I have to flash out, I will. That's how you get those plays. Okay. Here I wrote down um, a gank warding. It's another good moment in the game. I love these concepts of new players. It's very uh, illuminating. Yeah. So here, you're about to gank. Yes. I always do what I do here. <laughs> so you're about to gank. The reason we're sweeping, you may want to write this down. The reason you're sweeping is because you need to know if they know. Okay? I know this sounds like a rap song. If you know they know, right? But, uh, yeah, yeah. You need to know if they know. And the reason why is because if they don't know, you play it slower. Okay? Mm -hmm. If they do know, you play it faster. That's literally it. You're That's checking here. As you walk up, this is Metal Gear Solid, okay? Yeah. You're a predator. You're in the bushes, right? You're doing creepy shit. <laughs> you're watching these guys. They don't want to get diddled, all right? No one, wants, no one wants to get put in the fucking ice cream van, all right? So when they see you coming, they see the ice cream man coming, they're going to fucking leave. You're shady ice cream man, all right? Yeah. Yeah. So... When you're spotted, when they figure it out, they're going to run. They figured it out. See the pings? Yep. You hit yep. the ward twice. You could have been here. Ice cream man got hung up. Had a flat tire here. Yeah. They knew the ice cream man was coming. We don't want them to know that the ice cream man's coming. If they don't know, keep walking. No rush, right? No rush at all. Mm -hmm. Keep walking. We're good. Check this brush. Oh, they don't know that he's here. They don't know that we're here. Well, shit. Now I don't have to fold in, right? I could just go like this. I could go right along the wall and then same thing from before. 
Since they right, spotted you, was, you needed to just go. Yeah, my ear when I know so when I sweep and I see if I'm trying to do a gank and I sweep and I see a ward I actually usually just completely abort the gank entirely No, because I, yeah, I'll, they didn't I'll respond the fast word. enough. You see yeah, that's why we're looking at them So there's a, there's a little mini game that happens and I want you to be aware of it when you decide to gank and you have your sweeper I told I go sweep okay sweep All right, the, my brain I go I'm just gonna hard path so it probably in hindsight if it were me, I would have moved just like this. Yep. I right? And try to get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to just get it... Try to get some flashes or something. Yeah. If we were good at collecting info, we might have been able to see the Soraka flash at some point if we while we were clearing. And we caught that, and then we go, Ooh, Soraka's dead if I get here. Yep. See what I, I think mean? I have just this innate fear of pissing off my teammates, and then yeah, they no. just... They're so not. stupid. Listen, you've been playing very short amount of time. Yeah. The average league player is so stupid. Like, so mind-numbingly stupid, it hurts. I literally have... I, I have games where I'll lose in low elo. I've gotten to the point where if there's, like, a problem teammate, who's basically who's bad enough to lose with me on their team in low elo, right? Yeah. I will literally offer them a free coaching on stream. And you've seen my prices. I will offer them a free coaching, and they will always deny it. 100% of the time. You're just I've never had to give one. <laughs> I've never had to do one. It's it's more of a joke at this point on my stream to prove a point. Yeah, but they they're just so stupid. They won't. They they don't want to learn the actual game. So there's no point, right? Shit, it's, I would take it. <laughs> that's the thing is that people that want to get better will take it. But those guys, like the people that are pinging you for shit like that, they don't want to learn the game. They just they've simplified the game. They've distilled it into something that it's not. And it, I mean. Let's be realistic, though. It's good that there's the idiots in the game so that you kind of have this... It's like you're beating dumb idiot AI or something, right? Like, yeah. you, you, you're... If you view your opponents and your teammates kind of like bots that you're working around, it makes the experience so much more... I'm telling you, it, it makes it so much bearable because there's just certain types of people in the world, dude. There's people in bronze, silver, gold, and they're going to be there just by virtue of, like I said, muscle memory, where they're at in their life, how much time they play, blah, blah, blah. They're never going to learn the fundamentals. But with you learning the fundamentals, you're going to have a nice smooth trajectory as you learn the game. It's going to be like playing a single player game. <laughs> that's what I, and I think that's kind of hard for people to hear sometimes. God, that would make it so much better because honestly, I know that I'm not necessarily great at the game yet, but there are some times where I'm just kind of like, God, I wish I wasn't relying on other people. Well, that's the thing is that you shouldn't be viewing it that way. Right? You're not. You're not relying on other people. You're not. Be very clear. Because okay. I, I, on my streams, I win 80-90%. You're really mm -hmm. not. The ones I lose, honestly, there's some I lose and it's my fault. Like, I, I was using that example of giving the coaching. I had one game I lost. It was completely my fault. Lost in low elo. And I knew it. I was like, I trolled around and threw two deaths and I lost. Like, it's gonna happen. The point is, though, if you're good at the champions that you play, that shit... It, they, they're like I said, view them as bots and, and view them as like cards that you're dealt, right? You're gonna get dealt the aces, you're gonna get dealt the twos. It's fine. How do you so play with those hands? To win. So, one of uh, this happened, this has happened a depressing amount of time, and I've learned very quickly <laughs> some of the quirks about the league community. It is so, it is still possible. So, uh, for example, I had a game where it was not even five minutes in, I don't know what happened, uh, but. Apparently, our gin just pissed off our support, Velkaz, beyond reason. And Velkaz was like, fuck it, I'll just run it down mid. Is it still possible to turn a game? Yeah, you can like win that? 4v5 sometimes. Okay. Even I mean, look, dude. They're getting a free care package of gold every once in a while. Look, dude, this is like my stream out. Yeah. My subs. There's losses. Yeah, they happen. Yeah. A couple of them are my fault. This one's my fault. This one's because I don't have a good support pick to carry low elo right now on that account. I love Malkai. Okay. Malkai's okay, so yeah. much fun. But, but this one's my fault. There. And honestly, I would argue they're both my fault. Because again, no good support pick. Mm. Right? I haven't found a good one yet. I think Swain's the one. But either way, it's my fault. I view them as my fault. That's what I try to do is whenever we lose, I try to not think, ugh, my team's garbage. You could be, because... you could, no, listen, I think it's a bullshit, I think it's a bullshit mentality to be like, oh, my teammates are never at fault. That's some, that's also, that's equally stupid in my opinion, okay. right? 
I think that's stupid. I, and people will, you know, they do this overly positive crap where they're like, every game, your teammates are never at fault. No, dude, your teammates are at fault. It's different hands. It's different strengths of your teammates. That's what I have done better though sometimes, even with a shit team, but. Yeah, you gotta say, you gotta say, let's talk about this dive real quick too. You gotta say to yourself, you gotta say to yourself, it, it, is my teammates are they really that bad how bad are they are they fucking terrible are they slightly bad and i could have fixed this are they good right it's not black and white it's not like mm -hmm. oh they're shit or they're amazing mm -hmm. which is what league players love to do the game is too complex for that right look at this set let me give you an example the game's too complex for that this dive should be easy easy peasy Right? Set has a stun. A wave. Watch what he does. He ults away. Why? Why would he ever ult away here? Why wouldn't he just stun and cue the guy and then walk forward and then ult him out? Or if he has to ult, at least ult him away from the tower. That's what I'm saying. If he's going to do it, get in front of him and ult him that way after the play or when the ribbon's low so that he can combo his W with it. Mm. But you see, he did something similar to you did. But you guys are roughly around the same level. You're not layering yet, right? right. Just what it is. After a while, if, if you play against a good set and you made this play, he would have watched you CC. So if we go back, it's cool that he's trying to work off you, right? He's not so bad that he's just leaving you to try it on your own, right? Right. There's, again, varying degrees. He's trying. It's just not pretty yet. So you stun. He should go, oh, cool. I could just E here, right? Yeah. And then I could just Q this guy a couple times and then ult and then punch him. But he's not at the level yet. He's, he probably thought his ult would kill him. He's bad, but he's not horrifically bad. He's not yeah. just feeding the lane purposefully or, you know, anything. So that's what I'm trying to get you to see. Like, view the game as a, as a, as a total package of a lot of different shit. Yep. And when you watch this idiot streamer like me bitching about teammates, understand that I view the game a lot broader than just saying someone's bad or good. I'm gonna skim the remainder here and see if there's anything weird. So here, all this action on the top quadrant, I move you down here. There's no point of going up here right now. Then the duel, I have you duel because you're level 10 as well. And even though you're behind, it's a Mumu buddy and you just got your item she has not bought yet. Mm-hmm. And you have red smite. Red smite is is rough. Okay. So you just stat check. You have red smite. You have red buff. And you get out. You get a shutdown. Now for smite, this is something I've been working on. Do you always try to leave yourself one charge in case of? Yes, happens? red smite. Yes, you shouldn't even really be using smites that often. So here's another layering incident. You almost ran around the corner, which would be a mistake. Literally just mirror him here and just watch him. Because he blinked over the wall, I think, actually. Yeah, you shouldn't be walking at him because he's just going to blink. Let Shen do it because Shen's got you covered. Yep. Let Shen force his blink. Let Shen just beat him up while you sit there and watch him. And then you can close the gap if you want, but like realistically, I wouldn't move from here because you know he's going to blink. He also doesn't know you're there. See, and this is one of those moments like I was talking about earlier. He doesn't know you're there yet. See? Okay. So don't rush it. He knows you're there. You almost fucked it up because if he had eat this way and got away from you somehow, you would be very depressed, right? Yeah, but he... Yeah, I don't know why he went that way. Maybe he had, like, he maybe had vision of me, but he didn't actually see me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As far as being able, so when I remember the the, the time you had me duel uh, Riven, I know for a fact that if it was just me, I wouldn't have done that, and I'm not sure how I gauge if I'm strong enough to actually do that, especially as a bruiser. It's just red smite, red smite, red buff, your moo moo. If, if you've got items, like if you just came off a of back, if you have like your full combo, I'm going to tell you as a rule, just start battling more. Because they'll like probably chicken out before I do. I mean that and you're just really strong. Like the champion, uh -huh. if you're hitting your, your shit, you're probably not going to lose. Unless they're like super no, fed. That's true for most bruisers. Yeah. In case a Mumu gets banned. If you have a red smite, if you have a red smite and like full combo and like your ult and everything, 
and you play it, you know, you fight it out, you battle confident. Yeah, you you can win a lot of things in the that's jungle. Thing, Red Smite is OP. Me. That's another thing. You just reminded me. On a Mumu, I actually typically don't take Red Smite. I typically take Blue Smite because that's what is usually, and I'll put this in air quotes, is recommended uh, by by certain build websites. Yeah, they're uh, wrong. They, okay, so do you, by rule of thumb, just usually take Red Smite? Yeah, because you can win duels that will win you the game. So when is blue smite applicable or should I just never nah, take blue smite? No, and low elo you just get big resources and stat check people with red smite. Okay. Yeah, you can do that all the way to diamond. Slows, as far as I'm aware. There's I've probably had... uses. There's probably uses in some games, but your your opponents that you're playing against are screwing up fundamentals so much. You're just going to get so much gold that you can just run people over kind of like you were doing this game. So here we ping for Baron. We get the Baron for free. Remember that we we took the rift, we used the rift, we used it slowly so that we had our backs, our power backs. That's worth writing that's, down. That's, I need to write that down, yeah. Uh, keep. Because what I used to do is I would I would basically a hot potato and I would get it and just immediately eat it down. Yeah, no, 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 no. Think about, think about where it's going to get the most value. Uh, the, the priority is like plates. If you have to drop it early, get it for plates. And that's pre-14 minutes. Yes, that's actually because uh, a uh, uh, point of logic I had for myself just to kind of because I've seen you in, in videos and other stuff before say dragon's really not that important early. Uh, I actually, in my opinion, and this could be wrong, but in my opinion, getting Herald is stronger than getting dragon early. Um, It's stronger in getting you individual gold. Um, It's not stronger in tilting your teammates, I guess. For some reason, low elo players just fucking they think they dragons have to get dragon. It's yeah, more important than Nexus. Yeah, I know, I know. So like, you know, if it's there and it's free, I take it. But I, I, I am the type of person that, off of principle, I'm not going to reduce my agency by going over dragons. So it's very important and write this down. Don't rush dragons at like level four or whatever the fuck. Right? Don't do that. Focus on keeping your agency high. Remember our goal, and this is a good spot to end on. Our goal, we want to stay. So imagine that the game, we have like a little timeline, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll say early, mid, and late, right? Our goal is there's all these people. And then and this, will, this line here is going to represent like being uh, above or below the XP, right? So where they're supposed to be players will rat they would rather get a dragon like junglers would rather get a dragon early and then reduce their levels and their xp and then give the other jungler time to farm over them okay you got a dragon but now they're a level or maybe two ahead of you mm -hmm. your teammates are happier and maybe they're gonna win the game but you've seen how easy it is to throw in league of legends do we really want to sacrifice our agency and give it to our teammates and then give an enemy jungler more agency who just got two levels ahead of us by farming? I want my agency. I want to keep even or ahead of the curve. Always remember that. I want to be even or ahead of the curve. Okay. The way I play is if the dragon's there and it's guaranteed, I'll probably take it. If it's some level four rushed bullshit where I'm gambling for it or I can die, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not. Because I could farm okay. all these camps and stay even or ahead of the curve. And yeah, your teammates can die, int, or whatever. I don't care. They can rage. They can cry. They can give up. If they give up, they were going to give up over some other shit anyways. It's not worth losing sleep over. I okay. showed you my account. Yeah. It doesn't uh, matter. So, for example, let's say that I it was level... It's early game. Let's if I successfully gank bot lane, we get a double kill. At that point, is that an example of when yeah. you would just go do dragon? Yeah, if it's if it's if the waves are pushed, yeah, and it's free, sure, that's great. And I'm more than happy to take dragon then. But if if that's it's like thing. the waves are even, and then I'm gonna fucking blind go for it without knowing what's gonna happen, I'm never gonna do that. That's another thing. After a gank, and if I succeed in that gank, even or even if they don't die, but they almost die and have to flash or whatever, and they can't really do anything, always push the wave. Always Pretty much. Wave. Okay. Pretty much. Um, I mean, sometimes if your teammates look like they're... It, really, the tell is like the Kale. Like, if she has, like, you know, no mana, no health, you should probably push. Because she's not going to be able to do anything with it. But if she's, like, full health, full mana, you could just leave. Okay, like if she is able to push it herself, don't take it from her. Well, I'm saying you giving her the choice. Ah, she could freeze it. She could push it. Right. If she's safe. 
Okay. Because if she's but full if she's health, full dead. mana, exactly. If she's full health, full mana, she might want to freeze it, right? And okay. and I don't want you, you know, fucking over your teammates. But like, if your teammates kind of low, you know, they look like they look like if they stay around much longer, they won't get the wave push to that fast. You may just want to shove and just make it easy for them, Especially even though they might get mad. You. Yeah, they might get mad at you. But again, when you're learning, and then you can always refer to like me in my Facebook games or whatever when I'm playing around those low elo games. You could see the type of stuff I do. Cool. This was a good session, man. Thank you. I learned a lot. I'm, I'm really glad. Thank you so much for supporting the content. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Peace.